All right, everyone. Welcome to Tomahawk DIY. Today we'll be working on a Dell Inspiron uh, laptop computer. We will be replacing the memory module, uh, specifically the one under the keyboard. And in the process, we'll also see how to remove the battery on this computer, uh, as well as remove the keyboard. So let's start out. Uh, first things first. You want to make sure your uh, computer is turned off. Remove power. There's no peripheral devices that are attached to the computer, no memory cards left in it. Uh, we're going to remove the battery. We simply slide these two slots, tilt the battery backwards, and it slides out. There's some little latches here. Uh, you want to keep those in mind for the uh, reattachment of the battery later on. We'll turn on the power. Uh, nothing happens. That also helps ensure there's no lingering, um, lingering, lingering electrical charge in the computer. So, to access the memory module under the keyboard, uh, first you have to remove the keyboard. All right, to remove the keyboard, this can be a little bit of a tricky operation. Um, it's recommended to use some plastic uh, scribes. At least that's what Dell recommends. I, those are just a, simply a flat um, plastic uh, device. Um, I'm actually going to use a metal screwdriver. I'll warn you right now, you may scrape um, or damage the, the look along the edge of your keyboard. If you're careful, you should be able to get away with pretty minimal, if any, um, if any damage. Some ideas, I haven't actually tried this, but perhaps a flat putty knife, uh, supposedly a big pen, Cap would work. Uh, this one doesn't seem to work. So, anyway, there's there's four tabs. Um, if you look at the top of the keyboard here, you, those need to be disengaged that will allow the keyboard to pop up and then slide out. So, we'll go ahead and start with uh, this one. You get your scribe in there, and if you look carefully, there's a little uh, plastic or metal. A band, and if you can get get this under under that, it's going to take a little bit of prying here. I'm I'm clipping it between this uh, this edge of the the palm rest assembly here. Um, and trying to clip that to free it from the, uh, the plastic tabs that are holding it in place. There. Oh, and this one popped out on its own. While I'm doing that, I'm kind of pulling the keyboard toward me a little bit uh, to help those get freed up. Once it's out, you now need to slide the keyboard away from you because there are some tabs that are concealed over here, some, some loops. So you can just get a little, oh boy, learn how to reattach the key as well. All right. So careful not damage, that's uh, easily repaired. There's these clips here that we were trying to disengage. Once those come over, we've got the keyboard upside down. We can now remove the keyboard. So to remove the keyboard um, cable, uh, if you have a backlight on your keyboard, it will be attached right here. You simply reach under this black flap, flip it up, and then slide the cable out. We can now set our keyboard aside and we now have access at the RAM module. So in this case I'm actually removing the factory installed RAM uh, and we'll replace it with um, a matching, matching module to what was just installed on the uh, the module slot on the bottom of the computer, which you can 
see that installation in one of my other videos. I'll get, get the RAM lined up and then simply push down, you'll hear it click and snap. The RAM's now installed. We can now restore the keyboard back to its original position. So flip this over, they've conveniently put a nice up label. Um, instantly, one thing I recommend if you have the luxury of using a video camera or a digital camera as you disassemble a computer, provides a, a handy record when trying to reassemble. So we've put the keyboard back, flip the cover back down, we're going to turn the keyboard back over to its original position. Um, we'll have to repair this uh, alt key that I popped off. But first let's get the keyboard back in place. So I'm now kind of sliding it toward me a little bit as I pop these four tabs. Uh, we're just going to check and make sure they're all down firmly. They appear to be so. Um, there we go. You've successfully replaced the RAM um, under the keyboard on your computer. We can now reinstall the battery. To reinstall the battery on this computer, it has these latches or tabs. Simply slide it in and then we roll it forward until it clicks in place. Simple as that.